Hello, and welcome to another GM blog update. Today is March 27th, 2019. And if you would like to speak to me, feel free to stop by the Discord. If you have any questions about future videos, topics, updates, dungeon runs, anything like that, I am available to talk to you there. So, let's get into it. A new PvP season has begun. Ranks have reset. Get ready to fight for the top spot. Hey adventurers, we have new events this week and tons of new items for you too. First up, it's the start of a new PvP league for the year. Everyone's ranks have been reset. <coughs> and we'll have to battle it out once again to climb up the ranks. Will you become part of the top PvPers this time? You won't know until you fight. Then. We have another balance patch because we really do love balancing those skills for fair and more streamlined gaming. We hope you can test them out. And lastly, we have lovely new stuff at the item mall that I know you guys are definitely going to love. So don't forget to check out all these and more tomorrow. So another PvP season in quotation marks. Uh I really don't like the fact that they've been like spamming that term season. It used to mean a lot more when we had big season updates. We don't even have a number for the season anymore. Uh, the classic seasons like season one, season two, season three, and sorta season four uh, kind of were like big pivotal moments in how the game was changing. But now they just kind of say, I know PvP season. Which season is it? I don't know. What's being changed this season? Check the patch notes to find out. Kinda really inintuitive. Yeah, kinda... Hmm. It's... Uh, a bit... I'm not gonna say lazy, but... Uh, mismanaged. But let's get into it. Uh, PvP League 1 event. Which, which League 1 though? It's time to train once again, and make sure you're working hard to reach the top. This may be your chance if you weren't one of the top rankers, or if you're one of the players on top, it's time to retake that spot. The fight is on. Get ready for- <coughs> Get ready for a 5 chain quest that rewards you with awesome things each time you complete them. And how you do complete these chain quests for sweet rewards? You only have to PvP 6 times, win or lose you still get them. Plus we have a surprise on the weekend. What could it be? You'll just have to find out. Wink wink. Uh, I know what it is. Here you go. Nice. And we're back. Uh, the reward isn't as great as it was last time, if I had to be honest. But I know a lot of people like their change cubes. So there is that. Alright, so let's check out this new... These patch notes. We got season one character balance patch. League one question mark. Uh, dessert cafe event dungeon is still ongoing. Uh, ice burner. Lady equal tracer. We'll get to that. Lady equal tracer. The new custom motion. The new mount. Yeah, we're gonna get to all that. We still got all of the lady costumes from two weeks ago. Still ongoing. Grace fairy still ongoing. Black Mass is still ongoing. All the cotton candy accessories. Dark Griffin Mount is still ongoing. And mostly everything else. Everything that's ended, the Gloomy Night Lady, gone. Customization, Fluttering Heart, Lady Sit Motions, Custom Type 2, uh, Lady Builder Academy Package, unfortunately, have all ended. Alright, let's see these so called improvements. Hovering over the summon monsters and potions in the quick slot will now show detailed tooltips. Hmm. Hmm. Why, though? <laughs> You're only in that dungeon for like half a second. Uh, play. It will be more interesting as if the Gate of Darkness, like, tallied everyone's contributions to the Gate of Darkness, because you can literally just l look at who's all going with you unless you're like soloing. And if there's a class that like absolutely deletes the gate, 
or just a person who knows what they're doing is like in your party, you can just AFK at the beginning and not do anything at all, and you still get all the rewards. So maybe changing that whole system would be more beneficial, but I don't know what you could do about that. Because uh, summoning monsters literally means nothing, it's completely useless. The, the most you can do is a tip for you guys doing the Gate of Darkness. When you like empty out all of your skills on the gate, at the very end, uh, if you don't have any remaining MP, you can use the MP uh, uh, skill slot right before the dungeon ends, and you can have that going into the next dungeon that you're going to run after the Gate of Darkness. Is what I usually do to have full MP. Uh, Alright, etc. Players can now right click the items on items registered selection to remove the items before you start sale without closing the window. Uh. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's fine. Certain dungeon loading screens tips will be fixed. <laughs> okay. Clicking on the ERP decrease button and the L resonance will, no show, will no longer show the message saying that there's not enough L resonance scrolls. I mean, okay. Exploring equipment tooltip will no longer be included information that is not relevant to current effects. Okay. Fix the issue where the max MP appears to increase by 50 when using Mark of Greed for equipment slot 1, then switching to slot 2. Hmm. Hmm. Man, that was a really cool exploit. A fixed issue where hot spring stamina image appears and disappears when getting on that. Yeah. This is the minor bug. Not the end of the world. Ah, okay, so nothing too big that's been changed, unfortunately. Let's go back to the blog. Uh, actually, no, let's go check out the PvP League. A league that starts today, the 27th of March to May the 7th, 2019. Okay, begin the season with a clean slate. It's time to start a new, another PvP season begins, and y'all know what that means, ranks have reset, of course. At the end of each season, it will be an official Elsewhere 2v2 tournament. So, are you saying that these tournaments are gonna be, like, hmm. Quadra yearly, I guess? I don't know how often you're, you're gonna want to do this. There's like a two to three month gap in between. So you're gonna have like four or five official tournaments a year now? Question mark? I don't know. I'm assuming this is all just a big experiment just to see what the participation is gonna look like. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the top PvPers are just gonna like scoop up everything as per usual. I don't really see this invigorating life in the PvP scene, but we will see. We will see. I'm down on it. I, I've made this abundantly clear. Uh, first place, 30,000 so 30, ka-ching. Second place, 20,000. Third place, 10,000. So... $300, $200, $100. Not terrible. In order to participate, you and your partner must be within the top 32 of each season. The tournaments will directly affect your chance at participating and qualifying in the international tournament. But what if, like... What, what if I told you that PvP is just... Like, why? <laughs> there hasn't been enough changes in PvP to warrant this, in my opinion. But I don't know. You guys tell me. Also, I would like to... Uh, make mention of the fact that there is a movement to start actual change in PvP where we will relay all of our findings and grievances and just general, I guess, wants, aspirations, dreams for PvP in a server that's kind of community focused. Uh, we're trying to speak to the moderators and GMs directly to see if we can incite some kind of uh, change in the system at, in, in any any capacity, more or less. Uh, especially with what we can uh, directly influence, like our prize rule, uh, pools, rule set, and 
everything like that. So, there's a Discord for it. It will be linked in the description below. And uh, please check it out and tell me what you think of it. Uh, the more people in there voicing their opinions and just talking in general is the best. Uh, well, will be for the best. And I hope to see you there. Uh, and then there's the league schedule. Let's see what's new. Okay, random matches added. 1v1 random and team match types have been added to practice free channel. Receive debuff called rest before rematch when you find a match in the arena. It will be removed automatically once the match is complete. If a player leaves in the middle of the match, the player won't be able to queue again for 5 minutes until the debuff ends. Uh, but what if you got DC? That's not fair. Like, I get that this is trying to combat people who like to cable pool, but, like, that's such a non-issue right now. Yeah, I don't like the change. PvP League Mode added. A new 2v2 PvP League Mode has been added when you create a new room in sparring. These room Oh, wait a minute. So, hmm. I'm confused. PvP League. So do you have to, like, actually PvP in the arena? Or can you do the PvP League Mode in sparring? I'm confused. I need clarification on this. Will be made with the following requirement. 4 kills, power mode, 4 20 seconds, team deathmatch stats will be the same as the official arena match. Why though? Map will be reset. No, map will be set to team random match. Each, char each character in the room can select one map to ban. A new SSS rank pre-made party restriction. Are you an SSS ranked player? You won't be able to make you won't be able to form a pre-made party when the rank points between you and your partner is more than 450 points. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Don't know about this. Like, I, I get that it should be below 450 points because you're trying to keep people from doing the the rank carry exploit, I guess, which I personally never had a problem with. But I guess if you want to keep SSS as clean as possible, question mark. I, a lot of these rules just seem dubious and made by people who haven't spoken to like the actual PvP players. Just like the people who may speak to them the most, I guess. Who seem knowledgeable, but mm, this is not a rule I think that a lot of the actual PvP players would have signed off on. We'll see. Again, you can visit the Discord and voice your grievances there, and hopefully we can, like, uh, vet these changes. Alright, let's go see the event. Oh, they got refined magic stones correctly again. Okay, PvP Season 1 open, chain quest. Yeah, you gotta play PvP, official PvP six times to get a gold stamp. Uh, refined recovery potions, refined magic stone. Why couldn't these just be sage stones? Like, really? Uh, so like me, I would just play PvP once, get your gold full, f get your gold foot stamp, and call it a day. Unless you want to do the rest, because these rewards aren't terrible, but they're just kind of menial. Uh, and this weekend, uh, I already showed you class change uh, from first all the way to third job. Balance patch. All right. Let's see. Oh, they didn't do it again. I'm sad. They before they had the white text and the red text. Man, they had a good thing going. Like there were some slight inconsistencies, but they, they you shouldn't have gave up on that. Okay, armor break. It was nerfed in PvP. Eye Emperor. Mod armor break. Nerfed in PvP. Who would have guessed? Uh, mod Sonic Blade. Ooh. I'm happy with that. Uh, lower MP cost. Mod Rising Slash for Rune Master. Lower MP cost. Mod Explosive Splash. Or Mod Splash Explosion. Uh, lower cooldown. It just buffs for him. <laughs> mod Infinite Chaser for Immortal. Cooldown 6 sec. I don't know about this. <laughs> Uh, mod Infinite Strike, MP cost 300. Well, I mean, this would be cool for PvE. I don't know about PvP though. 
the Mod Infinite Strike. Mod Infinite Strike. MP cost 300. I'm okay with this. Aisha. You, you. Uh, Plasma Cutter. Oh my, a uh, buff for Oz Sorcerer? She's still being deleted. Uh, Metamorphy. I mean, I'm still not gonna use her, because this is, you guys need to do some serious re reworking on this character, because she is not fun to me. But, I mean, a three second cooldown is nice, I guess. <laughs> it's my character. Okay, Daybreaker, buffed. Twilight, buffed. Raven, uh, armor craft. Of course, it was. This and there is probably the same as Elsword. It had yeah, nerfed PVP, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Uh, Charge bolt, blow up your PVE. Just make sure. Okay. Charge bolt, create black sphere that sends out sharp spikes. Same thing. Final enhanced skill, MP consumption decreased, damage increased. Uh, that actually might be better. Uh, maximum dive, mana cost. Decreased by 20. Cooldown reduced. Okay, that's a dumb. Um, Mod Valkyrie's Javelin. <gasps> my f one of my favorite skills. Got a buff. Mod now can you just do this for, you know, the move that you never should have nerfed in the first place? It wasn't like anything huge, but what they did to Arcade Enemy was just completely nonsensical. Why would you nerf that for PvE? Uh, Charge Bolt mod was buffed in PvE. Was just buffed. Uh, mod maximum dive. Time stop skill is removed. I'm okay with this. That move's really dumb. Eve. Cold ultimate, just raw buffed. Chung. Raw buff. Aura. Uh, Absara. Cooldowns buffed. MP skills buffed, all just buffs. Bunch of buffs. Alesis. Power break. Cool, of course it was nerfed in PV. Or P PvP. Uh, flame. This is all the nerve. I mean, no. Flame Lord got buffed. Wow, you guys know nothing about this character. Uh, Bloody Queen. Buffed. This character is an issue in PvP. She's slept on, but if you actually know what's going on, this character's busted. Uh. Adds all these cooldown and MP reductions, just just buffs all across the board. Uh, Lucille, mod Red Cross buffed. Alter view MP recovery for all commands has been halved. Hmm. Hmm. That's, that's actually terrible. Okay. Transcendence. Uh, MP recovery for all has been halved. That's also terrible. Mod. Okay, so Deanne Gillian just got nerfed. That's cool. Assuming you like to transform. I still play them as if they were second job trans, so I don't really use transcendence. But, hmm, that's, that's, that's not cool. Okay, Rose. She was buffed. Quantum Bomb buffed. Double Gun Hawk buffed. Musket casting speed, 10, 25, to 10. So, musket launch MP cost reduction. It's a little nerf. Of course, she's just, just a nerfer. Focus strike debuff will now only apply to, will now only apply to bosses without debuff resistance. Hmm? Huh? That's not, that's not cool. So that's a nerf. Uh, prime operator. I'm not too familiar with this character, but I'm just gonna assume that these are nothing but nerfs. Percent 10 percent to Sigma target defensive. Yeah, a nerf. Uh, yeah, it was it was nerfed in PVE and PVP. So yeah, countdown nerfed. Corona. I mean buffed. Corona buffed. I mean she got some. Nah, trash is character. Uh, fine. Literally nothing but cooldown buffs. Okay, Laby. Please nerf the character. <laughs> Please nerf this character. Send them all the points. Laby is still the same. Uh, commands, double attack chance. Wha wow. 
nerfed into the grip from 20% to 5. Ignore defense, 10% VP. Damage range increased by 30%. That's still the same. Well, double attack. I mean, again, this should be nerfed in PvP, not PvE. Swirly punch. Cooldown. Oh, this was actually nerfed. Hmm. Why? <laughs> Want candy. Nerfed. Groomy. Oh, it was buffed. I love Groomy. It's Wendy. Buffed. Cool. I may have overlooked some of these. So, that's my bad. Cooldown 22.15. It seems like most of the cooldowns were buffs, though. So if I skipped over anything, please uh, go ahead and check for yourself. Alright, item all goodies. We got a new pet mount. Quack quack. Wild duck chase ensues. Uh, he's cute. I like him. He's he's a he's the not chocobo. Though I really do miss the uh, the other chicken mount. <sighs> For shame. All right, what else do we have? We have a butler sit. Romantic tea time. Yeah, I'm into it. It seems like girls for guys and guys for girls. No tea spills here. I'm okay with this too. Lady IB. Evil Tracer 1. <gasps> and it's the first boss in her, her dungeon. Zoom you. So all of her evil tracers are gonna be from her dungeon, of course. Uh, so... That's fine. I like it. Uh, I'm never really a fan of the mask and the ETs, but overall I like this. This is like a, this is a B plus. I like it a lot. All right, and that's it for this GM blog. I will see you guys later. Peace.